Isaiah, Yeshayahu, Chapter 9 The people living in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those living in the land that lies in the shadow of death, light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice in your presence as if rejoicing at harvest time, the way men rejoice when dividing up the spoil. For the yoke that weighed them down, the bar across their shoulders, and their driver's goad, you have broken as on the day of Midian's defeat. For all the boots of soldiers marching, and every cloak rolled in blood, is destined for burning, fuel for the fire. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, dominion will rest on his shoulders, and he will be given the name Pele Yoetz El Gibor, Avi Ad Sar Shalom, Wonder of a Counselor, Mighty God, Father of Eternity, Prince of Peace. In order to extend the dominion and perpetuate the peace of the throne and kingdom of David, to secure and sustain it through justice and righteousness, henceforth and forever, the zeal of Adonai Sevaot will accomplish this. Adonai sent a word to Yaakov, and it has fallen on Israel. All the people know it, Ephraim and the inhabitants of Shamran, but they say in pride and the arrogance of their hearts, The bricks have fallen, but we will rebuild with cut stone. The sycamore fig trees have been chopped down, but we will replace them with cedars. So Adonai has raised up Retzin's foes against him and spurred on his enemies, Aram from the east, Pelishtim from the west, and they devour Israel with an open mouth. Even after all this, his anger remains, his upraised hand still threatens. Yet the people do not turn to the one striking them. They don't seek Adonai Sebaot. Therefore Adonai will cut off Israel's tail, tall palm frond, and lowly reed in a single day. The old and the honored are the head, while prophets teaching lies are the tail. For those leading this people lead them astray, and those led by them are destroyed. Therefore Adonai takes no joy in their young men, and has no compassion on their orphans and widows. For everyone is ungodly and does evil. Every mouth speaks foolishly. Even after all this, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. For wickedness burns like fire. It devours briars and thorns. It sets the forest under brush ablaze, with clouds of smoke whirling upward. The anger of Adonai Sevaot is burning up the land. The people, too, are fuel for the fire. No one spares even his brother. The one on the right grabs but stays hungry. The one on the left eats but is unfilled. Everyone devours his own arm's flesh. Manasseh devours Ephraim, and Ephraim Manasseh, while together they oppose Yehuda. Even after all this, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. End of Yeshayahu, chapter 9.